Flexibility and mobility are keys to a good golf game. In order to create power in your swing, you need to have all your joints and muscles being able to go through their full range of motion. If they cannot go through their full range of motion, then your body will end up doing some compensations somewhere else in the swing and you'll be inconsistent, you'll lose power. So if you want to increase your consistency and power, you need to make sure you have your full range of motion with all your joints and muscles. The following exercises are a series of flexibility and mobility exercises to help you improve your golf game. Basic neck rotation exercises are critical for your flexibility. Stand in good posture with your feet shoulder width apart. You can hold a golf club just to have for balance. And the idea is to try to keep your shoulders and your neck aligned. And all you're going to do is simply look to the right side. You want to try to keep your chin up as you do this and then slowly rotate to the other side going through the entire range of motion. Hold it for a second, make sure you breathe, and then return to center. And continue to rotate side to side like this, increasing the rotation as you alternate sides. The idea is to try to keep your chin in line with your shoulder as you do these rotations. Don't slump your shoulders and don't move your body as you do these turns. You can also do these exercises sitting on an exercise ball or a regular chair. The idea is to keep your spine and your neck aligned in one straight line. Avoid rounding your back and your shoulders. You don't want your head to go forward. Being able to move your head side to side like this and forward and back is very important in the golf swing as well because that will help you make a complete shoulder turn and be able to keep your eye looking at the ball and beyond and be able to look up as you finish your swing. Stand in a shoulder width stance like this and make sure that your neck and your spine are in one straight line. Take your shoulders back, engage your core. From here, take your right ear and just drop it down to your right shoulder. You should feel a nice stretch on the opposite side. The idea is to drop your ear to your shoulder, not bring your shoulder up to your ear. Hold it in this position for a moment and then relax. Bring your head up to the start position and then go to the opposite side. Hold that position, make sure you breathe and bring it to center and then you can alternate going side to side like that. Again, in good posture, stand upright. This time, take your chin and drop it to your chest slowly. Hold this position for a second. You should feel a nice stretch in the back of your neck. And then slowly look up to the sky at about a 45 degree angle. It's not necessary to take your head all the way back with this exercise. And then slowly go back down and touch your chin to your chest again. And then bring it back up. And do that several times and you should feel a nice stretch in the back of your head. If you would like, you can even take your hand or push your head forward to feel an even deeper stretch. Hold it there for a second and then release. Your shoulders are really important in the golf swing. So you want to be able to move your shoulder in all planes of motion in order to be able to make a complete shoulder turn. Your shoulders are also really important because they help pull the club down in front of you so that you can create club head speed and a good impact position. They also help you release the club and complete your follow through. If your shoulders are tight in any the area, then usually what ends up happening is your body takes over or you get very handsy at impact. Hold it in one hand like this. From here, take your opposite arm and lift it up as if you were going to hug somebody. From here, I want you to look away from your arm that's raised up. So turn your head as far as possible and you should feel a stretch not only in your neck, but in your shoulder as well. Hold it here for a few moments. Make sure you breathe. 
Then rotate your head back to center and relax your arm and do that on the opposite side. You can also do this exercise with an exercise ball like this. Hold it and then look away from the arm that's raised. In this exercise, you might feel that one shoulder or neck side is tighter than the other, and that's typical because of imbalances in our muscles. So you wanna spend time stretching the side that's tighter. Maybe spend a few more minutes on that side. For this exercise, you don't need a club. Simply stand in a shoulder width stance. Make sure you have nice posture. Keep your head in line with your spine. And then you're going to take one arm and raise it above your head like this with your palm facing backwards. From here, I want you to bend at the elbow and you're going to try to touch your back with your palm as far as you can. This is external rotation of the shoulder. Hold this position here for a moment. Make sure you breathe and you should feel a nice stretch in your shoulder. Relax and then do the opposite arm. As I do this, you can see that I'm taking my opposite palm and going to the opposite shoulder. For the second part of this exercise, take the back of your hand and now twist it behind you, trying to touch your opposite shoulder with your hand behind your back. This time you'll feel a stretch in your shoulder, but in a little different manner. This is internal rotation. Hold it for a moment and make sure you breathe. And then go ahead and do the opposite arm. Again, there's always one side that might be a little bit more flexible than the other. And that's very typical. The idea is to try to work a little bit harder on the side that's not as flexible. Your hips and your ability to rotate your hips around your spine are really critical in the golf swing. Shifting your weight involves turning your hips around your spine, making sure you get your weight into your right side, having rotation in your hip. If there's any tightness in your hip area, the tendency will be to slide or to sway, and that'll rob you of power. The idea is to really make sure that you shift your weight and sit into your hip on the back side of your swing and then shift your weight and turn into your hip on the front side of your swing. For this exercise you'll have to get on the floor. So lay down on your back with your knees flexed like this and the idea is to just spread your arms out a little bit and from here just relax your hips and let your knees drop to one side. Hold this position for a moment and then bring your knees back up to the start position and then just let them drop to the other side. You can do this exercise in two ways. You can hold the position and feel a stretch or you can do this as a warm-up exercise before you go play and practice and do it dynamically by twisting side to side like this. Here's another hip flexibility exercise. Again, lay down on your back like this. This time, bring one knee forward towards your chest and just wrap your fingers around your knee and pull your knee gently towards your chest. You should feel a nice stretch in your hip flexor. Hold this position for a moment. Make sure you breathe. Position for a moment. And then return to the start position and then do the opposite leg. The idea here is to try to keep your lower back flat on the ground as you gently press your knee to your chest. Okay. 
So this exercise will concentrate more on your hamstrings. Since we tend to sit a lot, our hamstrings are tight, especially in men. So again, lay down on the, your back like this. This time, bring one knee up to your chest. And if you can, go ahead and grab your calf and try to straighten your leg as much as possible. The idea is to gently pull your leg towards your chest. And you should feel a nice stretch in your hamstring. Hold it and make sure you breathe. And then return to the start position and do that on the opposite leg. If you're really tight in the hamstrings, the tendency will be for the other leg to bend like this to give you a little bit more flexibility. Try to keep that opposite leg as straight as possible as you gradually learn to straighten your knee. Some people are naturally more flexible than others. So for some of you, these exercises might be very easy. For others, they may be challenging. You have to decide which exercises are best for you based on your needs. If one side is tighter than the other, spend stretching that one side a little bit longer so that you balance out your muscles. If these exercises are really easy for you, then you can just use these as maintenance exercises. If these exercises are challenging for you, Try to do them as much as possible so that you can master the move to move on to another area of golf fitness.